everyone, my name is Abhiran. Why am I in a jail cell? Because the title is called Prisoner of Azkaban. Doesn't you're... make sense though. Just because of Prisoner of Azkaban doesn't mean I need to be in a cell. Yes, it does, dude. What's even my it crime? Does. Your jokes are so cringy, they make people unlock. What's your crime, dude? I mean... Nope, that's not a crime. Get me out of here. I can't. I don't have magical powers. So I'll have to escape? But if this, if this is a jail, why am I in a comfy chair? Dementors are nice, it seems then. But do I have a video to record? Fine, just get me out of here. I know you said 10 seconds ago you can't get me out, but get me out of here. Time to escape. One on magical escape from a magical jail later. I'm back. Miss me? Nope. Me neither. Anyways, today we are going to review Harry Potter and the Prisoners of Azkaban. So now this is the third book in the Harry Potter series and uh, if you haven't read the previous books, I would recommend you read them first because there's a lot of things going on in this book that you won't properly understand unless you read the previous books and if you just want to skim over them, I have made reviews and summaries on them as well. Um, link will be in the description so you can go and watch those as well. So, now that you have watched those or read those, hopefully you have, if you haven't, you can still read this, but, and you watch this, but it will be complicated. So, I'm going to give the review and the summary. So, if you just want the review, um, I'm going to make it a chapter. So, just click on it and skip straight to the review. If you would like the summary as well and would like to understand my point of view on it and why I think it's such a great book. I know that's supposed to be part of the review, but I also sprinkle it to the summary. You can also watch the full video anyways let's get so prisons of azkaban starts one day before harry's birthday um and he has of course gotten gifts from his friends at the school because he has those um and the next morning at breakfast aunt marge who is his aunt on the on his mother's side so you already know she doesn't like him i know just the dursleys hate harry so you already know she doesn't like him and at dinner she insults harry's parents a lot like way too much this infuriates harry and as you know when wizards get angry magical things happen so you never you never believe what happens to this one when harry gets angry aunt marge inflates like she literally turns into giant aunt marge and she just floats away that's just amazing Harry then sees an alarming black dog, but let's discuss that for now. It will be important later. So anyways, um, he is then picked up by the night bus and the night bus drops off Harry at Diagon Alley. Um, here he is greeted by Cornelius Fudge, who is the Minister of Magic. He, re he, he rents a room there, room, not broom, <laughs> and awaits the start of the school, Hogwarts. In Diagon Alley, um, Harry finishes his schoolworks and admires a firebolt broomstick in the window of a shop. And after some time, he finds his friends Ron and Hermione. Then at a pet shop, Hermione um, buys a cat who she names Crookshanks, who chases Cabos, who is Ron's aging pet rat. Ron is, of course, angry at this, and he and they the night before they all head off to Hogwarts. Harry overhears Ron's parents discussing that Sirius Black is after Harry. Why is every villain? I mean, why does everyone need to have a personal connection with Harry? I mean, I get it. Voldemort's angry but uh, never mind anyway so the students both the hogwarts express and then they are stopped by beings called dementor harry faints and then he is revived by professor lupin who is the new defense against the dark arts teacher yes they change the defense against the dark arts teacher once more anyway soon after that the students arrive at Hogwarts and classes begin. In divination class, Professor Trelawney foresees Harry's death by reading tea leaves and representation of a grim, which is a black dog symbolizing, of course, death. I mean, why not? Everything symbolizes death in this series. Um, so, um, in the care of magical creatures class, Hagrid, who is the new teacher, um, introduces the students to hippogriffs, large and Malfoy, being the jerk that he is, insults one of these um, beasts, Buckbeak, and he is attacked by them. Malfoy dra is dragged out of the class. Uh, Professor Lupin teaches them to deal with a Bogart, who is a creature that takes the shape of their most scared 
like whoever they scare the most it takes the shape of that creature then in defense against the dark arts malfoy drags out the injury in an attempt to get hagrid fired and bugbeat put so now they're all going on a field trip to hogsmeade all except harry of course because um there needs to be a permission slip signed to allow him to go to hogsmeade but um his uncle and aunt didn't do it so he can't go to hogsmeade i don't know why i said that way too much i emphasized on that way too much so harry like any normal student goes to have tea with his teacher so now he's having tea with professor lupin oh hello mates would you like to have a cup of tea eh i hope that was an offensive Harry finds out that the reason he wasn't allowed to fight the Bogart was because Lupin thought that um the Bogart would turn into Lord Voldemort, which should be Harry's greatest fear. I mean, the dude is the Dark Lord. Um, so now um then Snape enters and he gives Lupin a potion to drink and uh, much to Harry's alarm, he drinks it because Harry thinks Snape is evil. I mean, I don't see reason why not, but um. Later that night, Sirius Black ooh, breaks into Hogwarts and destroys the fat lady's portrait that guards the Gif- Gryffindor Tower. The students then spend the night sleeping in the Great Hall while the teachers search the castle for Sirius Black. Soon afterwards, Quidditch is in now full swing. Yes, the game is back. I love it. and gryffindor is playing its first game against hufflepuff this time so their match begins and harry sees a large black dog and second and a second after that he sees a bunch of dementors because dementors are scary and since um, dementors make you relive one of the most darkest and scariest memories ever and since harry has seen voldemort kill his parents he imagines that and anyone who has to go through that shock and horror again he faints So when Harry wakes up he finds out that his trusty broomstick has been broken because it flew into the whomping willow and much to his dismay he also learns that the game was l- lost that they lost the game and um then Lupin tells him why the dementors affect him so much because his past is so terrible but I already knew that because I already read the book so I think Harry should ask me these questions um Harry Potter on the past if you have any questions I know the answers. I have read your books a lot of times, so call me. So now, during the next Hogwarts visit, to which Harry still can't go, Fred and George Weasley, who are Ron's brothers, give um Harry a Marauders map written by the mysterious quartet of four people whose name I am not going to tell you. So this leads um this map basically has all the secret passages in and out of Hogwarts and through this he sneaks into Hogwarts where he meets Ron and Hermione inside the and they go inside the Hogwarts tavern here they he over here Cornelius Fudge discussing serious black responsibility for Harry's parents deaths as well as the death of another Hogwarts student Peter Pettigrew who was blown to bits leaving behind only a finger so um after they come back to hogwarts harry learns that hagrid got a notice saying that buckbeak who attacked my boy will be put to trial and hagrid is inconsolable because the dude just loves magical creatures and creatures so anyways the windows already roll around for christmas harry receives a firebolt buya this is the fastest racing broomstick in the world currently much to his and ron's dismay hermione reports the broomstick to mcgonagall because it was um they she they didn't know who it's from and hermione is just a little snitch um professor mcgonagall takes it away because the broom could have been cursed and it could have been sent by serious black so anyways after the holidays um harry since he is affected by the dementors so much learns to work with professor lupins to fight off the dementors with the petronas charm he is um, kind of successful like it doesn't it's not perfect but it's fine so um he is not in he is not confident in his ability to ward them off i get it dude you know you shouldn't be so now before the game harry's broom is given back to him because they found no curses thank god and um when ron is taking the broom to harry he can't find scabbers anywhere and he thinks that hermione's cat crookshanks ate him 
Ron doesn't get Hermione along because he's shunning her. Because, well, remember the whole Scabbers incident? Ron is, of course, again furious at Hermione. So, anyways, soon afterwards, Gryffindor plays Ravenclaw in a Quidditch match and on his Firebolt, Harry wins. Of course, the broom is very fast. Anyways, so, now all the students have gone to bed and Sirius Black breaks into Harry's dormitory and slashes the curtain around Harry's bed. Several days later, Hagrid invites Harry and Ron over for tea. Um, which they go for under and also the firebolt thing. I mean, it turned out to be no curse, so technically it would have been fine. Anyways, um, after this, um, Ro- uh, there's another Hogsmeade trip and R- Harry sneaks out again with the Marauder's map and the invisible cloak. When he comes back, Snape finds it and he confiscates the Marauder's map. But Lupin saves um, him from um, Lupin saves him from Snape's rage. But afterwards, he reprimands him for risking his safety for a bag of magic tricks of, you know, Hogsmeade. So, anyway, as Harry leaves Lupin's office, he runs into Hermione, who informs him that Buckspeak's execution date has been set. Ron, Hermione and Harry are reconciled in their efforts to help Hagrid. Around this time, Hermione is exceptionally stressed because she has a lot of work because she took over classes and um, today she also slaps Malfoy which I mean is just amazing so she slaps him because he was picking on Hagrid and she also quits divination concluding that Jelani is a great fraud Um, I'm not gonna tell you if she's not you know spoiler alert look at me being afraid of spoiler alert when I literally just telling you the entire plot anyways so, Gryffindor beats Slytherin in a game of, in a dirty game of Quidditch, winning the cup. So, now it's exam time, time, the we, exam time, okay. So, um, exams roll around and um, during Harry's divination exam, Professor Trelawney predicts the return of Voldemort's servant before midnight. Ron, Hermione and Harry shield themselves in Harry's invisibility cloak and they her, um, um, hurry off. To Hagrid to comfort to comfort him before the execution um, of Buckbeak. So while at this cabin, Hermione discovers Scabbers in Hagrid's milk jug. They leave and Buckbeak is executed. May he rest in peace. As Ron, Harry, and Hermione are leaving Hagrid's house, um, and reeling from the sound of the axe, the large black dog approaches them again, and he pound he or she pounces on Ron and drags him under the Whomping Willow. Harry and Hermione and Crookshanks, the cat, dash down after them. Oddly, Crookshanks only knows the secret knob to press to um, still the flailing tree. So, they move through an underground tunnel and arrive at the Shrieking Shack, which is sort of a haunted house in Hogsmeade. So, they find that the black dog has turned into Sirius Black and is in a room with um, Ron. Harry, Ron and Hermione then manage to disarm Sirius Black and before Harry can kill him, avenging his parents' death, Professor Lupin enters the room and disarms him. Harry, Ron and Hermione are against Lupin and are against them as Lupin and Black exchange a series of nods and embrace. Once the three students calm down enough to listen, Lupin and Black explain everything. Lupin is a werewolf who remains tame through a special steaming potion made for him by Snape. While Lupin was a student at Hogwarts, his best friend, James Potter, Harry's dad, Sirius Black, this dude right here, um, and Peter Pettigrew became animagi. These were people who could take human animal forms so that they could romp the grounds with Lupin at full moon so that when he turned into a werewolf, he wouldn't be alone. Then they explain that um, how Snape once followed Lupin towards his transformation site in a practical joke that was set up by Sirius and he was rescued narrowly by James Potter. At this moment, Snape reveals himself from underneath Harry's dropped invisibility cloak but Harry, Ron and Hermione disarm him, rendering him unconscious. Lupin and Black then explain that the real murder of murderer of Harry's parents is not Sirius Black but Peter Pettigrew, yes, the dead guy. 
um, who has been pretty presumed dead but really he has hidden himself all these years as scabbers i mean who saw this coming the weird rat that ron had is a murderer <laughs> i've read this book a lot of times but it's going to take me some minutes to process this okay what the hell a rat is a scabbers then after some i'm not going to explain anyways so um he then um turns back into peter pettigrew and he confesses to uh, murdering harry's parents and you know what i want you to read the end of this book so i'm going to end the video right now right here well, not really i still have to give the review and remind you so this is the summary that's it after this i know this stuff has also been crazy but after this some really very crazy stuff and amazing stuff starts to happen and i would honestly feel bad if i ruined this for you so i'm just going to jump over straight to my review now so um this book is a little darker than the other books because harry is now finally learning and discovering all the dark secrets and the characters just develop and they have become more complex and they have become a lot interesting i mean just imagine i said before and what i told you isn't even the craziest stuff that happens in this book the ending is just so amazing and it's it's full of a few great battles it's funny at times and oh my god it's just so well written and i mean um she took 3 years to reveal this twist i am not telling you what twist it is though but and um, like i said it's very good it's full of mystery it's full of suspense a lot of new uh, things are introduced into this book and they're just amazing and this um, world just expanded into something so much more bigger and it's just amazing how even after two books this series just keeps on continuing to wow me like when i first read this book um when i reached the ending i was just so full of surprises and so many twists i honestly couldn't take it i was just like okay oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god every 10 seconds there was an oh my god and it's just so good so um i recommend this book to literally everyone anyone i meet and if anyone asks me what book i recommend i just straight up shout harry potter which i probably shouldn't cuz it's <laughs> never mind so um, this is a little darker so i would recommend that you read it but also you read it at a good pace and you read every thing because a lot of things correlate and this book is just amazing i know i said that a lot of times but it's just amazing so this um, especially th- this is a message to all the par- any parents out there if you want your children to read a book um which you think they will like and you just want them to do something other than be on their laptop or their phone i am telling you get them to read harry potter um a few chapters in and they will honestly start loving the series because it's just full of action it's got adventure it's got friendship especially this one this is just oh my god it's got it's full of twists it has great battles the magic system is it still keeps surprising me and it is so amazing and Please read this book. I will leave the link in description. So, bye. No, nope, not bye right now. I have to remind you about the thing. So, another thing I got to remind you about. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Please share and subscribe. Do not put the dislike button. Please, I don't like that. I mean, I get it. You didn't like it, so you pressed it, but. Okay. So, also share this video with your friends and family who you wish would read the Harry Potter series. Anyways, adios, amigos. Bye. Peace.